that, that was a fourth and 18, and there's not a whole lot of plays for fourth and 18 in the playbook. So that's something that we, we practice every week, kind of a desperation play. You know, we know we're not going to get the distance on the first catch. Then we're going to try to pitch it and see if we can't run for the first down or get a big play out of it. And there's other options behind Gerard Rabb on that too, you know, and then it kind of becomes the pitch back for, you know, to get the first down on it. So we were, we were in that situation, there's really nothing other than that to go to, and, and that, was the, that was the play. I'm kind of watching the protection first, and I see they're not blitzing, so I know that Ian's going to get out, and then Z's going to have a chance to throw it. And then I see Dryzen, and the ball's a little bit high, you know, and that's always, you know, I mean, the guy's going to be in traffic making that catch, so that's a difficult catch. And when he caught it, I just, I was really watching that backside corner. When he caught it, because Dryzen took about three steps, and that guy squeezed down with him, and I saw him flip it, and I just looked to that side, and there was nobody there. You know, so then it was like, all right, where's, where's one of their fast guys coming across the field that's going to track him down? And, and J-Rab, you could just see it. He turned, and he hit some, some juice he hadn't, <laughs> we hadn't seen, so it was exciting. We had run the ball off of that set against Nevada, and... You know, I just felt like all through practices up to that game that they would have watched that play in Nevada. I mean, it's so, you know what's coming. When the quarterback motions out, Vinny's in the backfield, I mean, they got to be thinking run. And just feel, really felt strong about Vinny. If he didn't have the throw, and he's done this for us a couple times, and we even tried a, a throwback earlier in that series, if we didn't have it, that he would find a way to get us the two yards. E everything about what he did in that play all the little coaching points he did, you know, a little extra tuck, I mean, just really selling it. Everything was perfect from his point. Um, and a lot of guys in that case, you know, just try to catch it and run and just try to throw it and everybody knows what's up. And he really squeezed the ball and acted like he was running it to hold those guys. And then Schumann did a great job of just slipping out behind. The backside backer, you know, really didn't bite that hard and he was kind of coming over the top. And you could see just, he saw Schumann pop out, so he starts to run with him and then he just perfect throw. You know, and Shu was in great position, and he really went up and got the ball, and, um, you know, we just had a step. I mean, that was really what we were talking about on that play, too, is getting one step on these guys and then trying to have a big play out of it. Um, but I really, you know, I mean, just, just having Vinny back there, I really trust that guy, and we all trust him, and just felt like that, man, if it's not there, he'll do something. He'll scramble and get us a yard, at least, or two yards for the first down. We used it in Idaho and felt very good about it. A little misdirection, and those guys really liked that play. So it was something like, all right, this is, you know, they're going to be totally into it. We got Schumann and Clady on the left side, our best two guys. When I saw the backside there, when the, when the guy was inside the box there, I felt very good about it. You know, if we could just, you know, if Z didn't drop it or, or uh, if the exchange was clean and there was no penetration on the front side or something screwy, then. I felt like back there we had a good shot of getting in. Shoe's really the guy that sets the edge there. I mean, there's there's a defensive end back there, and then Clady pulls around for any anybody outside of that. And there wasn't anybody outside of it initially. They, they actually lined up inside the box. Um, but Schumann's got a big block. He's got to maintain that and really sell it. He wants he wants the guy to step down. If he steps outside, then we're in trouble. So he's got to be kind of an actor, like he's on the back side of the throw, let the guy step down, and then be physical and really hold on to him for a while because it takes some time um, and then Clady's got to be an actor too of stepping down okay it's not really coming this side and then pulling around and then trying to find that extra guy and you know it, it just happened where you know Schumann, Schumann got him down there and the guy kind of realized what was going on and started to fight back outside and Schumann's battling him and then he goes down and cuts him late and Clady comes around and kind of get to that pile and, and we got the edge clean. And then the whole cell was Zabransky, you know, just putting the ball in his left hand, throwing with his right hand and just holding it there. Uh, and Ian, Ian really sold it the best I've ever seen him. You know, as calm as he was, you know, he didn't, you know, before he'd kind of like kind of run and look out there and then take it, and he almost, wa he walked on the play. He walked and was looking over there like, okay, it's not coming to my side, then he takes off. Yeah, I just think those guys, those two guys were, were so clutch in that and Ian just so calm about it. Took it right from him perfectly, and, and Z just kept holding his eyes over there like he threw it, and, and we got it. The way it all happened towards the end of the game, you know, was like we were trying to get to these plays during the game, and it all just unfolded, you know, each hash, each situation perfectly to get to those plays. Um, and then the execution of them. I think the biggest thing to me is 
just how our guys execute in that situation. There was no, you know, they did everything perfectly like they were coached to do. You talk about these situations, you try to prepare them for it, hey, this is what it's going to be, but you're never, I mean, you're hardly in those situations, and they executed it perfectly.